my favorite mask. I can't believe I haven't done a video on it yet. And it's the busy piggy mask thing. I oh, know you're about to see it right now. Okay. Say hi. I'm still trying to get this off my face. It's taking a minute. Okay. All right. Woo. <laughs> Haven't gotten on now. It's not tasty. It smells good though. Um. What does it smell like? I honestly don't know how to describe the smell. Maybe perfumey. It smells good though. Tastes perfumey. <laughs> I'm gonna put on a moisture green tea sheet mask. I'm supposed to wear it for 15 minutes. That's what it looks like. I've got my little compressed sheet mask here. I'm gonna go ahead and open this because I'm gonna drop this down here. I need to tell you guys about a little bit about a couple of the dreams I've had lately because, and trust me, I'm aware how ridiculous this sounds. I'm, I'm aware. But here's the thing, I can't be the only one. Smells so good. It was in the refrigerator, so it's nice and cold. How terrifying do I look right now? Oh, in case I haven't told anybody yet, if you guys don't know, this piece of furniture behind me, let's look at it a little bit more. It is an antique secretary desk that pulls down and it has an attached cupboard there. 
We've got some antique books up there. There's the handles. Really pretty. It's a lady's face. It's really antique -y looking. Uh, it, this is haunted. This door, it, it opens and my cat, my cat's obsessed with this. I've got some video. I guess since I'm talking about that, I can go ahead and show that video now. I've got a couple of clips of Freya here. And then I'll continue. Hey Freya, well come here. <laughs> just got through swimming with my little one and came back to take a bath and uh, my cat jumped in the water and she didn't freak out so I just thought that was funny. I wish I could have got it on video. She sat in there for a minute. Why is it blurry? Where's the ghost? Oh there it is. What are you doing? This is an antique secretary desk with an attached cupboard and Freya likes to sit in here on top of my art supplies and meow at the wall. Hello? Is there anybody in here? Say hello if you're here. She said no, she's going to stay. Okay. Mm -hmm. Hello. So, that was, that happened. And, um, also, I might as well even tell you, a couple of days ago, um, I actually had company, thank God, I had a friend over here who saw this too, and we were trying to film it and figure this out. And I'm sure there's some kind of logical explanation. I just don't know what it is. But anyway, here's the video from that. And it's just moving by itself. And it's, it's been moving. And it's still moving. And it moved, it's not moving as big as it was earlier, is it? Yeah, it's starting to again. That is weird. <laughs> There's nothing there. There's no air vents up here. That door's closed. Okay, maybe, is it the air going around the corner of the door maybe? No, it's still moving. Okay, all right ghost, you can stay, that's cool. <laughs> It's so weird. I know you guys, if you know me or have been watching my channel, you know that I have um, sleep issues where I sleep for long periods of time and I sleep deeply. I, I talked to um, a doctor actually and the way they described it was feeling like you've been without sleep. Like It's like going 48 hours without sleep. You are you're having sleep deprivation and that's what it feels like to have hypersomnia. Even you can sleep for 20 hours and wake up and feel like you've been literally awake for days and days and days. And I always felt like I slept the longest whenever I had certain kind of dreams. And the certain kind of dreams I'm talking about, I don't mean um, like premonition type dreams or anything like that. I'm just it's almost like, I hate to say dream world, because that sounds so crazy. 
but it's just it's like wherever in while well, I'm dreaming my hometown is always my hometown but it's not my hometown and it's not even always the same but it's very specific and I know like who lives in all the houses I don't know why I spend so much time driving in my dreams I hate driving but I can be driving to or from work in my dream and I know who lives here and who used to live here and I can remember playing at this house when I was a kid and I went to school with this person and to me it's not bizarre that I know these things in my dream because my dream is so real and there are four or five or six different places I guess that I go to I hate to use that that sounds crazy it's normal for me to be there you know once I wake up there's nothing familiar about it at all nothing like I'm remembering a place I've been before or anything like that as soon as I wake up I'm like that whole thing was a dream like I have dreamed and I've been in this place and dreamed for weeks and weeks and like had a job and relationships with people and friends that when I woke up I missed then you guys it's it sounds like I guess out of all the problems I could have it's not terrible but it's not awesome it's really not it's to wake up every day a little bit confused and try to remember who <laughs> exists and who is just from your dreams and explain how you miss people who aren't even real and it's it's such a weird layer to the depression trust me and the anxiety too i was just wondering if anybody else experiences anything similar and when you do seem to be like I don't know if I dream that long because I'm stuck in a dream or if I get stuck in the dream because I'm already sleeping that long so I'm just curious if anybody knows anything about hypersomnia and the doctor even mentioned like a form of narcolepsy or that they can or I could have traits of each I don't know I just wanted to know anybody else's experiences with stuff like this and also have you ever had any furniture that's haunted as long as everything is that you know remains copacetic then I have no problem living in the same space with whatever is um, opening this door and making my cat meow the wall anyway let me know what you guys think if you've experienced anything like this I would love to know I'm very curious tell me if you've ever seen one of these before and what you think it is how old you think it is it's empty in case you're curious but I'm just wondering it said laughing cavalier I can't read the name at the bottom right now. This is cool too. Similar thing. And this one says Fruit Basket. I think that's the name of that artwork. I just wonder what this is called. Like, what is it called when you do this to a bottle? It's glass. But it doesn't look glass. And there's something on the outside of it. That says Modern Masters, Collector's Edition, Volume 4. Oh, I'm taking this off. I'm going to put this actually on my hands and my arms a little bit because it's, you know, still damp. My neck. This does smell really good. Now, I do want to look in a mirror throw this away anyway let's see what this looks like under these lights in here it's so loud
It feels really good. It smells really good. Anyway, I love you guys so much. Thank you for watching my video. I hope you liked it. If you do, please hit the thumbs up button. If you haven't subscribed to my channel yet, I think you really should. I think you should. Um, I really hope that you did get something from this. I know it's just a short little video, but I just, I know, she's very interested in talking. Ha. Ha. Oh. Okay. You want to say ha? You want to say bye? <laughs> say bye. All right. Well, I love you guys so much. And I'll let you go until the next video. Mwah. Mm -hmm.